Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Cloud Box and here I upload video related to Azure Data Engineering, PySpark, Spark SQL, Azure Data Factory, Azure DevOps and Azure uh, Synapse Analytics and so on. So this is the new video inside Azure Data Engineering. Okay. In this video, I'm not going to discuss about any new topic. Instead, what I have planned, I'm going to share a complete roadmap or a path. If you follow those roadmap and path, you can become an Azure Data Engineer. Okay. The video is for all those folks who want to become an Azure Data Engineer. If you are already working in different skill set, you want to move yourself into Azure Data Engineering or you want to upgrade yourself from a non-IT to IT guy where you want to become an Azure Data Engineer. No matters, you are in which project, you are in a testing project or you are in a support project or you are in a development project but with a different skill set if you want to become an Azure Data Engineer. So I have designed this video in a in a way where I am going to discuss about the videos that you can follow about the certifications that you can follow and what all those necessary topics that you can follow and you can become an SO data engineer okay so I have a prepared award file so let me open that okay so before that I want to give a small intro about me who I am so my name is Anup Gupta I have total around six years of experience I am working from last more than four years as an Azure Data Engineer. Okay. I am Microsoft DP203 certified, DP900, AZ900, Databricks certified data engineer, Databricks uh, generative AI, and so on. If you check my uh, LinkedIn uh, profile, I am LinkedIn top uh, voice in data engineering. Okay. Here I have pasted my LinkedIn URL. Apart from that, I already discussed I run a YouTube channel. The name is Cloud, the Cloudbox, where I upload video related to the Azure Data Engineering free of cost. Okay, let's come to the video. Okay, what are the roadmap you can follow for an Azure Data Engineer? So first thing in my mind, if you are coming in IT, so there would be first thing is a technical skills. Okay, so what are those technical skills we required to become an Azure Data Engineer. So here also we need a programming language. Okay, mostly people use Python or Scala. You can use Java, R, whatever you want. But in data engineering, mostly people use Python or Scala. Even though Scala is not used widely, but mostly people use Python. So that's why I mentioned any basic understanding. It's not like you need to very professional, very pro in Python very few things need to understand in python and a very a small hands-on you need to start with a data engineer okay we'll cover later what are those topics you can consider in python okay but you must very good in a sql okay so if you are coming from a sql background already so uh, let's say you are a database guy or you are a support guy where you are working on PL SQL or you are working in a, a front-end guy or you are working, working as a back-end or you are working as a full-stack developer. So there you have understanding about SQL, okay? So SQL, at least you need a very good understanding and very good hands-on. Everything you need to learn from SQL. Without SQL, you can't be a data guy. The third thing you need to understand about the distributed computing framework or a distributed framework we'll cover it later what is all about but at least you should have understanding about a distributed framework okay you need to understand the data factory data factory is something that is orchestration tool okay the next thing you need to understand about the sql i already told so here we are going to use a spark sql because the spark is a distributed framework so they have given their customized sql that is almost same 90 percent sql is everywhere it's same or you need to use pi spark so a spark is the framework so a spark has given you facility whether you can write sql code 
or you can write your python code so pyspark is nothing but combination of a spark plus python and all these are very basics or a scala spark if you know a scala then you can implement your a spark your uh, big data solution with a spark framework using a scala so these spark sql pyspark scala spark alone you can implement in the databricks okay that is azure databricks we'll commit later what is azure databricks what is a plain databricks so you can implement all those these are the languages pyspark spark sql and scala spark i need to implement in a one platform that is a databricks or these or everything you can implement using the azure synapse so till now you need to understand the very view very basic of python good sql good understanding about or basic understanding about the distributed framework azure data factory pyspark or spark sql and a basic understanding about the data warehousing concept okay what are the how do you define data warehouse what are the different schema and all those you need to understand if you are working on data so you are going to load the data you are going to store the data so what all those storage options are present and if there is a data then those data have a file structure and a file format so it is a csv excel and what are those format we will cover it later and all those solutions we need to implement using the devops ci cd so that also you need to understand but i would say these are optional understanding and working on the devops part is always optional for a data engineer person these more in come into the infrastructure side but if you know that will be always good so technical you noted down what i told i want to repeat it again basic understanding about any one language python or scala good understanding about sql basic understanding about distributed framework it can be hadoop or spark but my focus would be please learn spark good understanding about data factory spark sql py spark data warehousing concept storage option file format and devops so what all those certifications are required to become an azure data engineer i would say it is always optional certification having certification is optional but uh, let's say if you have a certification it is going to help you for filtering your profile or it is going to helpful for interview calls and your profile is going to present for a client so certification gives you an edge always because you are uh, doing something and you have a certification for that so it means you are a genuine resource that's it if you do not have also that is fine but if you can complete all this it is going to help a lot so first is azure fundamental okay that is az900 its short name so completing this you will have a very much good understanding about azure and their internal things and their cost and all so this az mean az 900 or az 900 gives you understanding about the azure cloud this another one is dp 900 the dp 900 is nothing but the data solutions which we are going to implement on azure so basically nothing but a fundamentals of data on the azure cloud that is the dp 900 and the third one is really important one that is the azure data engineer associate certification that is dp203 or dp203 okay this will we give you a huge edge if you are a if you are an azure data engineer so having this uh, certification will give you an always uh, extra edge okay over other candidate let me talk about the next one databricks data engineer associate this is a very tough certification i would say apart from all these three as if you compare among three this is the really tough but if you complete this this will give you an extra s if you have these two uh, certifications it means like client or company can have a trust on you that you are a good data engineer that's it okay apart from this databricks has multiple certification lakehouse fundamental uh, generative AI, those are free of course you can always go ahead and do that so for the certification side i just want to repeat that az900 is for azure fundamental dp900 is for data fundamental on azure 
Azure Data Engineering certification that means you have implemented end-to-end -end solution on Azure Cloud using Azure uh, tools which comes for the DP203 and Databricks Data Engineers Associate it means you have a good understanding about data engineering with Databricks okay so we'll talk about the skill set which we have talked earlier what all those topics you required for python so i would say you do not need to be very pro in python like python is a very uh, vast language python covers lots of area approximately everything python covers for the data engineering at least you need to understand the python uh, data types basics of python loop statement python list tuple dictionary classes function oops concept and if you have good to have knowledge about pandas and the numpy and the matplot it will be good okay all these things i guess you can learn from youtube you can search any python video and you can learn easily okay sql at least you have very good in sql for that i guess you can follow sumit mittal sql videos tech tfq video channel or you can follow ankit bansal which i followed personally so i am going to recommend you or you can take a zero to hero course from on uh, udemy and you can learn sql okay the third thing is distributed computing framework so what is the distributed computing so here you learn about there would be uh, one main computer and it's going to connect it with a different several child computer that is a master computer would be main computer and the slave computer will be a child computer and how they communicate with each other so these are the a uh, distributed thing so earlier this distributed solutions was implemented by hadoop but it was very slow and it always comes with a storage solution not with the optimize and with the performance and it was very slow so a spark replaced this so you need to learn very basic of hadoop not very much detail or if you want to go in deep you can go ahead and do that but i would say learn very i mean uh, learn hadoop very basic at least you will have understanding because from the Hadoop only this uh, big data came so you can have uh, understanding at least about Hadoop and then a spark you do and do the master in a spark because without a spark you can't be a data engineer okay so for a spark I guess you can follow Sumit Mittal video he has uploaded all the videos on his YouTube channel okay next thing about azure data factory this is nothing but a etl tool or elt tool or you can say complete end to end solutions for your data okay it is basically an orchestration tool so for that reason you can follow wafi studies channel i have given a name or you can follow my video the cloud box i also upload video related to the azure data factory i have i have completed 80 percent plus video so you can go ahead and watch my video if you have not uh, subscribed my channel please do so okay then it comes with the databricks databricks is a different topic okay so it's also provide etl tool and it gives you a jupyter notebook kind of environment where you can write uh, in a four or five languages okay and you can implement your data solution and you can do the transformation you can ingest and load the data directly from the databricks also okay you can learn it from geek coders youtube channel or you can learn it from my channel the cloud box okay data warehousing concept data warehousing concept is really important for a data engineer or a data analyst person or a data scientist person for everywhere this is required so you can learn what is the data warehousing what are the different schema present what are the fact and dimension tables how data are getting stored so these are really important topic inside the data warehousing concept I want to repeat so for the python you need to understand the loop statement python list tuple dictionary oops concept numpy pandas matplot if you can learn sql you need to learn and you must have a very good in sql you can follow ankit bansal or sumit mittal video or tech to fq channel or you can learn it from udemy distributed you can learn a spark hadoop if you can have a very basic understanding then a spark you need to learn and you can learn it from sumit mittal video channel Azure Data Factory, you can follow uh, the Wafi Studies channel or my channel, the Cloudbox. For Databricks, you can follow 
geek coders or you can follow my channel the cloud box data warehousing concept you can learn it from youtube or you can consider any youtube channel okay for data warehousing concept there are two things you can consider either you can cover azure synapse completely or you can cover the databricks inside the uh, databricks there is concept called lake house that is a modern uh, data warehouse concept you can learn it from the cloud box or you can learn it from for azure synapse you can learn it from uh, wafi studies for the databricks you can learn it from geek coders or the cloud box youtube channel different storage option so different storage option present like a delta lake a data lake blob storage tables these are the storage present for or any any uh, data warehouse or a db these are the storage option present for the big data solutions those you can understand what is the difference between delta lake and data lake these are differences you can always learn different file format csv json parquet excel these you can follow because you need to understand about the file format so certification i already covered like why this is important so az900 dp900 dp203 data breaks and what next if you complete all this so now you will have like how to land for a job okay so there would be few people who are coming from they are already working in it but they are working on a non cloud so they want to move into cloud so they can easily start with azure azure is very handy and it is widely used and it is growing very faster because this is product from microsoft and companies are adopting very frequently because they are already using microsoft product and their integration is smooth with other microsoft products so you can learn azure so you can start learning azure free of cost on youtube how to upskill in azure data engineering let's say you are non work you are working in a non it guy i mean you are working in it industry but skill set is not up to the mark and you want to move into data engineering so just start from step 1 what i told and if you complete all these steps you can skip the certification if you want and just try for searching job you can do some dummy project for that you can follow youtube or you can see the projects available on the udemy courses those you can do and you will have at least understanding then those project at least you do hands on and then you can apply for a job but at least consider those all the topics already covered how to land for job in azure data engineering after completing all these necessary steps you can do one or two poc or one or two projects the projects available on U udemy courses by deepak goyal real time project okay and if you search on youtube there are various person uploaded the projects on their youtube channel they have also provided a github url those you can consider then after that if you got a job then it's always a good practice you maintain your skill set and upgrade yourself as per the industry standard okay this data industry is moving very fast so you need to be alert and updated as per the industry standards so just stay focus and do whatever you want to do but learn the new things so you can stay up to date so i guess in this video i have covered all the path okay all the road map i have shared i will share this file with you okay so you can always access in case you need any help just do write in a comment section or you can send me a linkedin request i would be always happy to help you a lot and i am a guy started with zero experience so i guess if i can do that i can complete all these things i can work with a very good organization i guess anyone can work anyone can learn anyone can start earning and and you guys can help with each other okay so that's it for now in the next video i'll going to come with a new topic in azure data engineering so stay tuned thanks for watching please do subscribe hit like and please share my videos to the other guy so they can always get a help okay thank you